going to have Antonio Brown for the Monday Night Football game. What happens after that, it's really on Antonio Brown and what he decides to do as a professional, as a man. Not, not having Antonio Brown yeah. for that Monday night game, that is a huge, huge deal. So, like, I mean, as his, as his teammates. How well, embarrassing is this, man? Yeah. It really is. It's for out who? of control. For Antonio Brown. Like, Does he you, seem embarrassed? Like, I'm talking about to, to, to one day have to actually walk back into the locker room. I would feel funny walking into the locker room. And, and, and you know what's weird, Mike? Like, I was a jerk as a young player. Mm -hmm. But eventually I grew up. Understood how to play the game, got smart, and that's what you don't see with A.B. Like, I've tried to have your back, man. I've tried to be there for you. But, you know, the whole Pittsburgh thing, the helmet thing, I even had your back through a little bit of that. And now it's to a point that I, I can't justify it. And you heard uh, – you heard, I was about to say Derek. You heard David say, like, like those guys have had his back. And it, 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 you reach a boiling point where it's like, look, man, we're trying to win games. And if you're not helping us win games – Go and quickly. When you made that switch, like when you said you felt like you kind of like grew, grew up, did you? Was there I something got cut that happened from the Oakland Raiders? Look I got cut after signing that. a seventy million dollar deal. <laughs> I got cut eight games in, and it wasn't even necessarily because of me. It wasn't that I was a bad guy. It was Al Davis was like, "Look, man, we spend too much money in free agency. Can we redo your contract?" I said, "Nah, I'm making eight million this year, seventeen next year. Give me my no paper. way. Yeah, yeah. We, we can we can do it next year." And he was like, sorry, we, we need more money. And I was like, all right, cool. He's so like, don't come to work. Reset. Don't come to work. I didn't come to work. And he still fined me for not turning in the playbook. <laughs> I said, uh, man, you told me not to come uh, to work. How did I get fined for not turning in the playbook? <laughs> but I still got that playbook. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Worth every penny. That's awesome. Okay, great. So um, let's talk about, because we've got a time, guys, to look into the future. <laughs> Our crystal football, mm -hmm. it's back. It's everybody's favorite thing from Spencer's gift shop. I think I said something. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's week one, perfect time to share all of our predictions. But before we tell you what's going to happen during the 2019 season, let's take a little trip back to last year to hear what Mike Rob had to say. Oh, yeah, I did have something to say. <laughs> it was good. I see a future MVP of the league this year, a young guy. Hold up. This can't be right. It's Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. This Oh, MVP this year, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, something must be broke. <laughs> it wasn't broke. It wasn't broke. That was good. Yeah, you know, you know, I, it's Andy Reid, man. I'm telling you, there's more Andy Reid being paired with that type of arm talent. You almost can say the same thing this year. So, yeah. I mean, is it my turn oh, first? Yes. Am, am I going again oh, first? Go ahead, I, go I, I, I got another prediction. Okay, I saw something when I was standing over there. Okay, but uh, come on, come on. dim the lights. Come on, come on. Hold up, I see something. I see something. I, it's something that I've been seeing all off season. Is that a buffalo running through the uh, field? What? what? I think I see a buffalo running through some fields. Uh, no, you don't. The Buffalo Bills win the AFC East. Oh, whoa. No. I got to look at the, the Buffalo Bills will win the AFC East, guys. It's, it, it's right uh, in there. They, I didn't they, say they it. They realign. Aren't the Patriots wow. in the AFC East? The Patriots oh, are in the AFC East. I, 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 it's not, I'm not saying the Patriots won't make the playoffs. I think they'll just be a wild card this year. I mean, the Buffalo Bills only won six <laughs> games last year, and they took care of the line of scrimmage. I think they're going to start to play bully football. They're going to start beating people up. And they even drafted Ed Oliver to push that pocket on Tom Brady. Hey, Patriot fans, get off my inbox. Ow, don't talk to me about Patriots right now. It's all about the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo, let's go. Let's you know, get it. I, I watched America's right. game the other night. They had right. some old clips of Nate. Question. So, so they got themselves one right now if they, the Patriots want to use it next year. <laughs> you, Just telling you. You guys Buffalo, can tweet M. Rob Buffalo win 12 games like this year. Rob. Watch me. Ooh. I can hear How you just put my Twitter out there like that, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> I saw you. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, gang. Let's see. Let's see what the crystal ball uh, has for me. All right. So you saw a buffalo. Yeah, I, I saw a buffalo. I see a, a dog. A dog. It, oh, it's moose. It's the it's the brown dog. Oh, it's Miles Garrett. That's what I see. You see. Miles Garrett is going to be defensive player of the year. Yeah, you. Oh, no, 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 you can't see because this is my prediction. Okay, so this is why. They bring in Olivier Vernon. That frees him up from double teams. That frees him up from defenses over there from offenses. And look, you got 
you got a ton of guys on that defense that are going to help Miles Garrett grow. You have Denzel oh. Ward on the back end there who just keeps developing. That means quarterbacks are going to hold on to that ball even just like a second more, and Miles Garrett is going to be there That's to get you. Also, Miles Garrett, he said that Greg Williams like limited him to just a couple moves, and now under Steve Wilkes, I think he's going to flourish. Uh oh. There uh -oh. we go. Defensive uh -oh. player of the year. Like, what did the dog have to do with it? Yeah. Because <laughs> the dog. That's, that's their mascot. Flavor, that's their like, mascot. Like, did you Ooh. see a talking dog in there? Like, well, no, I saw the dog first. They tried to mess up her. It's her. And then I was like, bro. oh, it's her. Oh, that doesn't make sense to you. Oh, dog. Don't you know what's always about Moose the dog? Is it me? Come on, Jesus. It's you. It's me? Yeah. Let's see. I got big hands, right? I got big hands. Let's see. Let's okay. see. I'm, 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 I'm up. I'm, 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 I'm going down 95. I 95. But okay. I, I didn't stop in DC for some reason. Pico. <laughs> Where am I going? I'm going to Baltimore. Baltimore. I think you're going up. Oh my Ooh. God. Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I was going down. I'm sorry. I went up. I went up 95. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went up 95. I'm Apparently sorry. I'm that guy. But it's but Lamar guys. Jackson. <laughs> And Lamar Jackson, I know we said you run the ball a whole lot, but running's going to be the key here. But it's going to be the key because you're not going to run quarterback sweeps like they did last year. No, no, sir, you won't do that. Mm. You'll drop back. Ooh. Uh -oh. Michael Vick said you were faster than him. I don't know. I play with Mike. I don't know. Uh -oh. But I tell you what, you'll have the chance. And when you drop back as a passer and then run the ball, you'll really surprise defenses. Mm. I see Lamar Jackson as the MVP oh. of this league. Look Mike. out, guys. No. Look <laughs> out, guys. Lamar Jackson. Bro, what you did? I'm going to come see you now. Cup? What was in your cup? Ain't nothing but water in my cup. Mike, I'm Mike, get out of here. Wait, wait, Lamar, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming for you, man. Hey, MVP, say, baby. Say it again. It MVP. Lamar this, Jackson, I said it first. I think it's me, baby. You heard it here first. I think something's broken, right? Yeah, that was yeah. no, that, that, that thing worked. It worked for him last year. Yeah. It's going to work for me. All right, get it. Go ahead, Jesus. Hey, how you doing? That'll wake you up in the morning. You see, he never played football before, man. Yeah, I did. We just couldn't find the tapes. All right, Time. Yeah, I hate this Here thing. We go. Come on, hit the lights, whatever. <laughs> I'm never good at this. This never works out. So you wow. can just not listen to any of this. What a right. downer. Oh, oh, wait a second. Yeah. No, this is it. This, I'm, yeah, no, you this is dog? the one. This is no dog. This is the one I'm going to get right. Okay. The Rams aren't even going back to the playoffs. What? I said it. I said it. The Rams are going to miss the playoffs this year. I got questions about Todd Gurley. We've got a lot of changeover on this roster. You, w w was was mm. something exposed in the Super Bowl game? I don't know about that, but you know maybe you can find the situations as a defense to put Jared Goff in to make him uncomfortable. I'm going to say that the Super Bowl hangover keeps him out of the playoffs. Now, when we talked really? about this oh. yesterday, mm. I spoke to my researcher, Bill Sudell. I said, give me the numbers, Bill. Make me feel better about this. He said, well, the last 20 years, nine of the teams that lost the Super Bowl missed the playoffs. I said, okay, so that's 9-11. That's down the middle. It's pretty reasonable. And then he said, yeah, but over the last 10 years, nine out of the 10 teams that lost Super Bowl made the playoffs. So I am trying to buck the trend here. So this is a bold prediction. I don't know if I even understand everything. The team that lost it. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Panthers good. I think we got it. We missed the playoffs. That's why you like to Long say story short, yeah. Rams are joining yeah. them. Moses, his, his, uh, his yeah. point. Let's, let's find out what uh, does it, does you guys. Bounce? Does it bounce? No. Yeah. It does not <laughs> bounce. bounce. Do not break it. Okay. Jeff says Patrick Mahomes throws for 6,000 yards. 6,000 6, yards? Dude, that means he's going to throw 600 yards a game almost. Okay. Right, come on, man. James. What? Says the Bucks win the Super Bowl. Let's Winston check that map. Y'all yeah, thought I was crazy. I said almost. <laughs> James, the Bucks fan. Okay, Eric. Russell Wilson wins MVP. That's not Metcalf too far off. Breaks the record for touchdowns by a rookie wide receiver. That's far off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mike Robinson. Hey. Retirement hey. Leader. hey. Talks to a Super Bowl win. Hey, I'm down for that. I All mean, right. um, the 12 I don't know if I'm a big player. Maybe I don't know. Um, you want to be a coach? Yeah. No, you're not leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Get us out of here, Scott. Uh -uh. Uh, no. Been offered. You're gonna have to stay right Three, here. 375 yards per game to get the 6,000 average. I'm told. I'm correcting his geography, his math. I said you almost. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure you'll find something. Jeezy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, the Patriots. Did you guys hear about the big plans they have for Josh Gordon? Oh, I, I mean, I think I know. Yeah? I think I know. You think? Yeah, yeah. I think I know. You know what he's going to do against the Steelers? Yeah, I Okay, do. don't you tell us yet. You want me to yet. say it now? No, no, no. Next. And 
One game down, just one touchdown in 2019, though, so far. So, how's the Packers? Uh, how did oh, they leave the Windy City with a W? Bit. We'll talk about it. That was a wet one. I asked for the Ew. news, not the weather, Jimmy. Ooh, nice. Juicy mouthed it. Okay. I'm taking this with me.